एस चान प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी नाउ वी विल कवर द टॉपिक विच इंक्लूड द वर्किंग ऑफ वोल्टेज सोर्स इन्वर्टर I am Narendra Kaur. Now, if you want to study this topic in detail, refer this book from S. Chand Publishing. E-book link has been given in the description box. So, in the voltage source inverter, its circuit diagram basically includes. This is the power supply. Here are the two capacitors. That is a C1 and C2. This is a VDC. These are connected to two switches. That is a Q1 and Q2. state 1 means when this power supply is on here is a positive and negative for the state on means this switch is closed that is not in the circuit and this switch is open this is a q1 switch here this is a q2 switch means in the state 1 q1 switch is open and that is in the circuit now and this uh, this is not complete circuit here q2 that is closed that is not in the included in the circuit now for the positive half cycle there occur charging of the capacitor means there occur charging of the capacitor c1 that means the c1 capacitor that is charged with the voltage which is vdc by 2 now during its charging for positive when the positive is given to here this diode d1 that is in the circuit means q1 and c1 they are in the conducting mode so in this case this q1 switch and this c1 capacitor both are in the conducting mode and the output voltage that will be given by the voltage across the capacitor c1 which is equals to v dc by 2 now in the state 2 what will happen in the state 2 q1 sorry q2 switch that is open that means that is included in the circuit and the charging of capacitor c2 that is taking place and we can say that q2 and c2 they both are in the conducting mode with the output voltage that is vdc by 2 and q1 and q2 so in this case q1 and q2 sorry q1 and c1 they are in non conducting mode 
they are in non conducting mode means in both the cases so in this cases for the first half cycle we will get q1 and c1 in the conducting mode in the second half cycle we will get q2 and c2 they are in the conducting mode across the load we will get the output value so when we will getting the output power supply across the load so during the first half cycle means when the c1 is in the operating mode we will get the positive value with the magnitude that is v dc by 2 and during that that will be that is q q2 and c2 they are not in the conducting mode means there will be no output value they will be reverse biased or you can say that so in this case if we are understanding the complete value so for the positive half cycle as the switch diode they are play connected in the series values so means we will get output across the load here the output will be obtained across the load so this is so this is for the first half bridge for the second half bridge now when the second means they are here c1 and q q1 they are in the conducting mode so we will get output value over here what will happen to the c2 at this mode non conducting mode means for the positive half cycle means for the positive value if this is in the charging mode c2 that will be in the discharging mode means both are operated side by side so the total output value so the total output value that will be equals to v1 plus v2 which is the total output voltage so that will be equal to the total output will be v dc by 2 plus v dc by 2 that is equals to v dc so this is will be the total output value means for the positive half cycle or when you can say that when the one half is in the conducting mode and second half is in the non conducting mode conducting mode means the capacitor c1 is in the charging mode or you can say that the diode is in the forward bias direction or c2 and q2 they are in the non conducting mode means capacitor is in the discharging mode here the capacitor will be discharged and the diode that will be in the reverse biased during reverse bias after the breakdown we will get the output value now the maximum uh, the charging of the capacitor that will be equals to v dc by 2 so that will be the maximum output value that can be obtained across the load for the half bridge so when we are combining these are two half bridge in order to make the full bridge we will get total output value that is equals to vdc by 2 vdc by 2 that is equals to vdc so that will be equals to the total voltage across the load when one of them is in the conducting mode and second one is in the non conducting mode means in the second half if this is in the conducting mode then this is the output value while when this same that is in the non conducting mode non conducting mode means the capacitor c1 conducting mode means the capacitor c1 that is in the charging condition that is in the charging phase non conducting means the capacitor c1 is in the discharging phase means working is done so it is it is worked but in the opposite direction so in one case the diode will be forward biased and in the second case the diode will be reversed biased but in both of the cases the work will be done and that work uh, according to which the work will be done and we will get some output value of the voltage that is equals to vdc by 2 that is a voltage across the capacitor c1 you can say that when c1 and q1 in the conducting mode and this is the vdc by 2 when c2 and q2 they are in the conducting mode so this will be the output value now on plotting these values output voltage graphically how you can represent this so graphically so for the positive half and when c1 and q2 for positive half means when c1 and q1 they are in the conducting mode negative half means when 
C2 and Q2 they are in the conducting mode. So this value, this type of output we will get over here. Here this is a DC output. Now in this case this value maximum value that is equals to VDC here this value is minus VDC. So this is for the positive half cycle this is for the negative again positive and negative. So here this is just like that of an AC. So in case of an AC so we will get the sinusoidal representation. So this is for the AC. So this is the same as that of AC but here the input applied is a DC. So VDC is a input applied which is the input DC voltage which is applied across two capacitors C1 and C2. On combining these two we will get this is a positive value means C1 and Q1 they are in the conducting mode. This is for when C2 and Q2 in the conducting mode. And also it shows positive value shows a charging of one capacitor, negative value shows a discharging of the another capacitor. Now this is the value of the output of both the cases. Uh, this is the end of part 2 in which we covered the working uh, principle of voltage source inverter. Now if you want to study this topic in detail, refer this book from S. Chand Publishing. E-book link has been given in the description box. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. And also press the bell icon for the future notes. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.